it's been really good. Um, a lot of fresh faces, um, obviously new facilities and, and new coaches and players. So um, I've really enjoyed it, and I'm, I'm really liking getting to know everyone. It's um, it's a really talented list. Um, the group's a little bit younger than than the group at Essendon, but um, having come to the club now and trained with with players that you get to see every day how they operate, um, it's a pretty impressive list, which is really exciting. And yeah, I think um, the group's heading in the right direction, definitely. From the 50 all the way home. Belcham, if he gets it, he's got the handball option, Collier. The trade period um, wasn't so much the, the hard part. That, that was when my decision was probably already made. Um, the, the hard part was um, in, you know, from the last game until um, you know, probably for probably a month there while I was away overseas and deciding what I wanted to do. Um, I chose Melbourne, which I'm, I'm really happy about. And, I had a chat with Simon Goodwin, who I'm, I'm pretty close with. He was the midfield coach at, at Essendon when, when I was there for four years. Um, he gave me a ring and, and he could see that I, I probably wasn't enjoying my footy or probably reaching um, the potential that, that I had. He started talking about maybe the possibility of coming to the club and you know, he said you need to ask yourself what you want to get out of your footy career and um, you need to find that passion and, and reignite yourself again. And, um, he said, I'm not going to pressure you into anything. It's not going to matter between our friendship if you do come or if you don't. It'll still be the same. There'll be no hard feelings, but uh, I just wanted you to get the best out of yourself. And yeah, I sort of thought maybe maybe a fresh start would be good for myself. And yeah, that's that's sort of where it, where it got started. Oh, the first the first word that comes to mind with is just how driven he is. Um, he, everything that he does, he commits 100% to. And you know that when he's talking, you believe him because He's been there and done it, so you trust what he's what he's saying in a way. Um, and yeah, he's showed he showed a lot of belief and faith in me. And um, speaking with, with the players over the last few weeks, they're really excited um, that, that they've got him on board with Ruzi. Um, he's brought a little bit of change to the club as well. And um, I think this this transition phase in the next year or so will be really smooth, and um, the club will start going in the direction or it already is going in the direction it wants to. So. Yeah, it's exciting times. Yeah, Mac is a great coach. Um, he's a really good communicator. He gets his message across. He, he understands young people. I think he's really good at developing young footballers. Um, and he just simplifies things. I think he's another great asset that we've got. He'd be a formidable opponent. In the last few moments, it's like they've been fighting in a cage. They've been at close quarters. Melcham unloads. Long ball from inside the square. And it's got the carry. He realised he had to come back. I think at the start, when it all come come out, we thought it wasn't going to be going for obviously this long. But it's just one of those things that the longer it's dragged on, it just became a part of your daily life. Yeah, I didn't read a paper for three years. Um, things like that that you just sort of push aside um, to, to cope with it. When I look back over my career, probably in 10 years' time, when I'm a little bit older and a little bit wiser, I'll, I'll look at it a bit differently. But now it was just sort of something that we dealt with when we had to and um, it's coming to an end now I think and um, yeah I think it'll be, it'll be a good day when we can all move on from it. Like I, I explained to, to Melbourne that, that it was a really hard decision because um, I didn't really I didn't want to leave my teammates. Um, sometimes you've got to do what's best for you. Um, you've got to take that leap of faith um, in a way and, and, and you know start with a bit of a change so yeah um, all the rest is history. To contend with as well, and the two beat one, Melcham. And then taking on the corridor. Oh, beautiful kick from Melcham. That was an absolute blinding bullet. This Levers run out, suddenly gives it off. They're running in numbers, the Bombers. This time Melcham over the top. Down there at full stretch. The kick wonderful. Melcham just dropped it, then I thought ran out of oh. bounds. But I hope he did it, because he's kicked a most magnificent goal. Well, as I said, I played a few games at halfback towards the end of last year um, and I really liked it. Um, I, I played not too bad there. I, I thought I, I had some good games. Um, and when I spoke to Melbourne, that they, they saw that there was possibly a position there for me across that halfback line. So as I spoke about before, it's sort of just getting that passion back again to play footy. Um, when I got drafted, and if, 
first couple of years I loved footy as a kid um, and over the last few years it's, I've sort of lost, I lost a bit of that passion so honestly it's just getting, getting that passion back and finding my love for the game again and, um, and obviously yeah, playing some consistent good footy and, and having a few wins. Um, the last, the last year for me wasn't, you know, wasn't as um, for the club wasn't as good as we liked, and we didn't win too many games. But um, I want to win some, win some footy and play some finals, and, and the club is definitely um, heading in that direction with, with the talent that the list has got.